Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a number of amendments. I hope the committee looks favorably on them. I'd like to thank the committee for uh, including in the defense appropriations uh, rule that was, that was prior considered amendments that I'd offered on Ukraine and, and one that I know the ranking member and I care about regarding cluster bombs. I'm principally here to testify in favor of this rule. I think it is a good thing for the House of Representatives and a good thing for the country to consider these appropriations measures separately and to do so with robust amendment. During the speaker contest in January, it was a major issue whether or not the House of Representatives would continue to govern by omnibus and continuing resolution. And there were several of us who demanded from Speaker McCarthy concessions that we would not do that anymore. We would not take one up or down vote on all of these disparate agencies of government to fund them or not fund them. And when we fought for those things, despite a whole lot of initial criticism, it was not the praise that we received for seeking this um, methodology of governing and appropriating was one that was even uh, championed by some of the more left-leaning members of the Democrat caucus. I recall uh, the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, going on Rachel Maddow's program and saying, hey, what you know, these Freedom Caucus and Freedom Caucus Aligned members are fighting for would be helpful to our deliberative process. And so we endeavor upon that, that uh, work today. But there can be no denying that Mr. Neguse made very valid points in criticizing this Republican majority for having not done so sooner. And uh, we own that failure, and now we have to break the fever. We have to kick the habit of governing by omnibus and continuing resolution. This government is about to run $2 trillion annual deficits. We are $33 trillion in debt. Both parties have contributed to that substantially, and I believe the reason that Regardless of which party's control in the place, we seem to always uh, gravitate to these omnibus bills and continuing resolutions is, is because we don't have the courage to actually cut spending. And the discussions that we just witnessed on the Homeland Security bill, on the state and foreign ops bill, those are precisely what our constituents expect of us. So uh, while I know that this is but a step and there's a great deal of work to do, while I know that it was a bad sign that Speaker McCarthy uh, at 3 o'clock on a Thursday functionally sent people home, I am heartened that you are here. I am heartened that my colleagues from across the Republican conference are here to work through these, these measures. And I believe the rule that you are about to vote on and hopefully pass provides us the greatest platform to do deliberative governing and to reduce spending in a way that is consistent with our values and the reality of divided government that we currently live in. I thank the committee for its indulgence and I yield back.